I stumbled upon you this last January, and I thank God I did. Um, you wrote an article this last July 29th. I will never forget it. And there was an excerpt in the article that alarmed me, and not much surprises me anymore. Um, regarding the swine flu and the military, implementing the military to help out. And in the article, uh, I know you don't reveal your sources, but I'd like you to elaborate about, about the metal shackles they're going to put on the wrists with the computer chip. And maybe, Catherine Albrecht, you can um, add to that comment. Unfortunately, I believe one among several plans to ensure that the government's edict of mandated vaccinations, and by the way, the state of Oklahoma last week passed through its house just such a law for the state of Oklahoma and its residents that everyone would be vaccinated in the state of Oklahoma. Now, having said that, there are also plans that will ensure that you do not freely travel, nor will you be able to really go anywhere without proof that you have had the vaccination at the point that the government mandates that certain levels of the population take the inoculation. When that happens, I have been told by state troopers across the country that there are plans ready to be implemented that would include roadblocks and choke points, as we call them, major interstate junctions around major cities and so forth, where the greatest number of people can be held until they are either, they either prove their vaccination by papers or, in the case of a medical specialist in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, who told me that they had observed a semi-tractor trailer being unloaded at the hospital loading dock, pallets and pallets, scores of cases of metal bracelets that once put on would slip into a place and, and be either uh, pegged in there with some kind of uh, device to hold it in place, but the band was meant to be permanent. On top is a chip. That chip will include all kinds of information about you, and the fact that you have been inoculated. Now, this is one of several plans. It has not yet seen the light of day, but it is there. It's in readiness. You choose the poison. It's either slow homicide or slow suicide. They're either going to kill you with the injection, or if you go up and say, sure, I just want to be able to go wherever I want to go, and you take it, to me, that's virtual suicide. Just slow motion suicide. So we've all talked about not getting the vaccination, that's clear, but you may not have a choice. I am told that the plans include buses that will be standing by for people in roadblocks that refuse to take the inoculation. The people will then be escorted to the buses and taken, as I was told, in the state I was in at that time when I was speaking to the troopers, you're going to get a free ride to a nice warm bunk at Fort Riley. Well, it, it it's one of several plans. We can't know until they're implemented, but I assure you that those plans are in place and law enforcement is going to be pulled in. In one of the articles I wrote, I said the law enforcement community will enforce a new world order. There will be many that will not, and that's good news for us, but I believe it's still majority that will be standing in line saying, get your shot or get on the bus. That's what's coming.